Welcome back, students, to MicroStakes Poker University. This is Danks, and we are here with another Hustler Casino Live hand analysis. We are playing Max Payne Monday, and it's a 10, 20, 40, 20 big blind ante. But first, please like, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. It'll help a lot with the algorithm. We really appreciate your support. Join our Discord and check out GTO Wizard if you want to elevate your game. Link down below for 10% off for your first month purchase or your annual purchase. Let's get right into the hand. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let it play out and then we'll do an analysis afterwards. <laughs> There's a race to 200. Tafo bets uh, in the cutoff to 600 with pocket tens. But they look the same, like same hair, everything. That's racist. It's not racist. DGF called. They told you not to do that anymore. For Asian people. <laughs> they, said, <"Don't> touch <laughs> they said don't touch your mic anymore, remember? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, you found four bets. No respect. You no respect. I no, they don't respect my race. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Is that Sam man? Madafo might fold. Yeah, of course. Yeah. He's spooked. Absolutely. And he doesn't have a lot behind. He's gonna be facing an all-in on the flop. At least that's what he's afraid of. This is a very polarized bet. But it turns out, Ifan has ace jack. Offsuit. It's not a hand you would think he's four betting with here. Tend to think he's have better hands and much worse hands. Tafo probably thinks he's either way behind or way ahead of undercards. Once again, though, the tank is giving away a lot about his hand. This is not like a last to act situation here. I mean, this isn't Hollywooding. Is he going to rip it? Just a call. Great flop for 10. Two eights and a five on the flop, 35 60 in the pot. If he shoves here, he's officially the goat. Hopefully you. You're looking at those chips. He does shove. E fan. Cold. Like I know it's cold. Like I can feel the feeling of cold. But I'm hot. That's how messed up. Yeah. Essentially puts Tafo all in. And Tafo doesn't want to call. He's scared, but he calls. What a call by Tafo! And they don't show until the end. What a call! But we can see that Tafo is good here. On that flop. <clears throat> Scary like turn card. He's a dodging ace or a jack. One time. And he's good. <clears throat> okay, so. I want to preface this hand by saying that um, it, from what I've seen so far, I watched a few of the hands in the session already, and um, we have a pretty, what I would re call recreational or somewhat amateur um player pool on this table here so recreational game uh, most people just having fun kind of want to be on tv and uh or the live stream rather and just kind of playing some poker now i want to preface also with the fact that um oh, effin he <laughs> donked off a stack <laughs> he donked off into his entire stack with a straight against a flush it was a Three card flush on the flop against Tafo already, 
um, earlier in the session. So Effen has been playing quite aggressive. Now, we're facing a raise from DGAF in the hijack with a7 off. First of all, this is not a hand that you want to be doing this with, especially at a table like this. Uh, in my opinion, a table full of wrecks, you would want to be waiting to get hands and bet them for value. Um, a7 off, really not the type of hand you want to be doing this with. It's just a clear fold, in my opinion. Uh, in the cutoff, you are essentially raising, um, most likely you want to be raising like maybe pocket eights and better. And of course he has pocket tens, so he does make it three X. He's in position and the small blind. Now the small blind effing, he's been playing aggressive already. He's already lost his stack once he rebought. Um, <clears throat> he topped off and ace jack off is not a four bet from the small blind hand. This is a hundred percent fold. Um, now, in this type of game, perhaps we have some players that might call down lighter um, that he might be ahead of. Maybe perhaps ace 10 suited, king queen off, king queen suited, king jack suited. He is blocking the jack. Um, so there are hands that could potentially call a four bet in this type of player pool. But in general, uh, ace jack off would just be a fold here. Um, <clears throat> at this point, now Tafa was faced with a tough decision because he knows now that basically once the flop comes out, he's going to be facing aggression. And he's going to have to make the decision now, basically, is he willing to get all his chips in the middle? Now, <laughs> exactly, he's going to be facing an all-in on the flop, and he knows that. So this is the thing here. Is pocket 10 strong enough to face an all-in on the flop, depending on what comes on the board texture, of course. Now, it might not matter that the board comes low for him because pocket 10s just might be behind jacks, queens, kings, or aces. Um but the thing is here is that Effen has been showing that he is playing with blind aggression and uh, obviously is splashing around. So this must be playing in Tafo's mind. So I think Tafo has pretty much just convinced himself that he's going to call an all-in as long as the flop comes lower than what his hand is uh, holding. He goes ahead and makes the call, which we can see is... Uh, the right thing in this situation, but the way Effen's played it, he's playing it like he has queens, kings, or aces, and that can be scary. You know, um, Tafo did lose a stack earlier, kings to aces in the very first hand, so he's kind of snake bitten, uh, perhaps, with the pocket pair and the aggression um, pre flop. And uh, Effen just goes for it. Now, the way I see it here. This is the way I see it. So, Effin, he, if he has an overpair to this board, I think that there's a chance that he might be getting tens, nines, tens, and jacks to fold because he's played this hand so aggressively. But in retrospect, would he want to get? Wouldn't he want to get more of? value instead of just shoving and making him decide for all of his chips because if tafo decides to fold then he would be losing out on value so in my opinion i think a smaller bet would look stronger because then he'll be reeling in tafo but the problem is tafo has an overpair to the board so he'll be calling either way um i don't know tell me what you think down below if you think a smaller bet would be better here versus an all-in i can lean both ways um obviously I think that Effin just wants to get a fold out of Tafo, so betting larger seems like the right thing to do. But this is what happens is he could bet small on the flop, like a thousand. Tafo will call the thousand. I don't think he'll overbet sh or he'll over sh he'll shove over the thousand. And once the queen comes on the turn, then he can jam and Tafo will probably fold. But instead, he takes a more aggressive route. And in my opinion, I think that this might have been his nail in the coffin instead of betting for what you would think would be value with an overpair. Tafa would really be put in the blender when the queen comes. One time. And he's good. So I just kind of wanted to share this hand with you and show you a little bit about, you know, this blind aggression and playing, you know, against 
recreational players. You really want to just be getting good hands and betting them for value. You don't want to bluff players that are, um, you know, I don't want to say these guys are fish because I don't know them and I haven't seen them play. But if you're playing at a table with fish, just say that you are. You don't want to bluff fish. You just want to get a good hand and bet for value. And I kind of wanted to just show that and um, let you see, you know, how these games really can be. It doesn't matter the stakes that you play, whether it's micro stakes, low stakes, medium or high stakes. You're going to get players of all different levels in all of the stakes. It's all relative. So uh, I hope you take something from this. Um, anyhow, I hope you liked what we're putting together so far. We love having you follow us along this journey. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.